we are building a cold calling voice agent in Lovable with just a few prompts. And no, this is not your generic voice agent. Our AI agent actually knows everything about our leads. Our agent scrapes the LinkedIn profiles of our leads so it knows everything about them. If you watch until the end of this video, you will know everything you need to know to make this yourself. So let me show you how. Okay, so we are going to build a voice AI agent for cold outreach. And this is really interesting because when we do cold outreach, knowledge is very important. So what we are going to make is we have one prompt and it is a very large prompt in the build loop library. And I will show that in a second, but I will first explain what we are going to build. So we add a name, the business, and the LinkedIn URL to our system so that we can scrape their LinkedIn profile and know everything about them. Then we will connect this AI agent purely built in Lovable to our Twilio account and we can just very simply click on the button and then we will do a cold call to this lead. So let me now show you what the build loop library looks like. So we are going to create an AI voice sales agent with LinkedIn enrichment. And we have this enormous prompt here. So we have part one, the database schema. We have the edge functions. So we have some API keys that we need to get. We do lead enrichment. We do make outbound call and we have the Twilio voice. And there's a lot of more information in here. If you are interested, go to the build loop library. You can see the complete prompt here and you can actually copy paste it for your own project. For now, we'll just very simply copy this, go to our lovable, and paste it. And now we are going to click on enter and see what it comes up with. Give me 10 seconds. If you're enjoying this video and if you're learning anything from it, please like and subscribe. It will help me grow my channel and it will help you create the most amazing AI apps. So it is going to create a front end and all the voice agent functionality. So that is really impressive. It is always very fun to see what it comes up with. It is now enabling cloud. And we need some API keys because we need our OpenAI API key, our API Fi API key, and our Twilio API keys. It will first create the tables. Perfect, so it's now asking for our secrets. So what we need to do is we need to go to Twilio and you can create a free account actually. And in your account dashboard, you will have your custom tab here. And when you scroll down, we actually have our account SID. We have our token and our Twilio phone number. And these are the only things that we need. So I will for now just copy this one and paste it. Submit. We'll then go back. We then need our auth token. So we copy that. We go back and provide it here. And we need our phone number. So let's get that one. So we go to platform.openai.com and you can create a new key here. We copy this one. We paste it here. And then for our LinkedIn enrichment, this is the actual actor that we are going to use. And if you want an API key, you can click on API, API clients, and you can click here on the copy button. So we'll do that now. We'll go back and paste it. So now the whole setup was already done. And now the only thing that we need to do is wait for Lovebolt to complete everything. Okay, perfect. So we have our first result and this is always so much fun to see. We have our dashboard. We can click on leads. We have campaigns, we have call history, we have settings where we can put our company information, our sales configuration, our voice settings, and our Twilio integration. So this is already looking amazing. The first thing that we now need to do is have our Twilio integration URL, go to our Twilio and add that to our number. So how you do that is you go to Twilio, you go to phone numbers, you go to manage, you go to active numbers, and you can actually buy a number here. It's not so expensive, really easy to do. You can click on it. And then in your configuration tab, you have a call comes in. It is a webhook and we can put our URL right here. We can go down and we can click on save configuration. Okay, perfect. We got this set up now back to our dashboard and we now actually need to test it out. So let me fill in my company name here. Let's for now say build loop. We have a configuration. So this is Alex calling from, let's see, build loop. Okay, perfect. Let's see. We have some criteria, custom instructions. This is all looking fine. Let's click on save settings. Okay, this is saved. And we can now go to leads and say add lead. And this is all within one prompt. You really got to remember that. We did not do any work about this. You can really copy paste this prompt and get the exact same result. So let's add myself here from every man, my phone number, perfect, my email address, my LinkedIn URL. And after adding my LinkedIn URL, it will actually use the API Fi scraper that we have here and it will get all the information from my LinkedIn page. And you can obviously add some other integrations as well, but for now LinkedIn will do fine. 
We can click on add lead and we have our lead and this is all working already. So I got my phone here and we can now just actually click on the phone button and see if it is already working. It is already working. Okay, let's now pick it up. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, so we got called, but we heard nothing. And this is a very common problem where something just didn't go right yet. What we can then do is we can go to our cloud and we have all of our functions here. And as you can see here, our Twilio voice is not working yet. So we can click on it. We can go to view logs and we have our error here. The only thing that we now need to do is we need to copy this and we will paste it in here. Okay, perfect. So it made an adjustment and we will now just call again and see if it is now actually working. Fair. This is Alex calling from Build Loop. Am I speaking with Fair? Sorry, with who are you speaking? I'm Alex from Build Loop. We help sales teams increase their outbound conversions by 40% using AI powered calling. Is now a good time to chat for a few minutes? Yes, yeah, sure. Great. Thank you. What would be a good date and time for you? Uh, maybe tomorrow at 9 p.m. Hi there. Just to confirm. I've booked our meeting for tomorrow at 9 p.m. Looking forward to our conversation. If you have any questions before then, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Okay, so we had our first call. And to be honest, for the first version, this is already pretty cool. I mean, we had a few prompts, a little bit of debugging, and we already got a conversation going. So what I now want to test out is when we go to call history, we can actually see that we have our conversations here. As you can see here, we have a lead name is unknown and our score is 85. But underneath that, we have our lead name is Luke Alleman, which is the correct lead name, but it didn't have any outcome. So when we now click on this, we can see the actual conversation here. And obviously we can do a lot more with this data. So what we will now do is we need to say to Lovebolt that this is happening and this is the way we debug our voice agents. So we'll just say, Hey, so we just had a conversation and now when I go to the call history tab, I see two conversations at the exact same date and time, but the one with the score has lead name unknown. And then the one underneath that has the actual lead name. Um, so I think there's something going wrong that when we actually call, we are not connecting that call to a lead. So it doesn't know who it was talking to and it is not connecting that call with the lead that we have a conversation with. So can you please look into that and make sure that we store the data for our actual lead and not just randomly add an unknown call history row. Okay, so it's fixed it. So let's now just test it out again. We'll make a new call. Hi there, this is Alex calling from Build Loop. Am I speaking with there? Hey, hello. Hi there. I wanted to reach out because we help sales teams increase their outbound conversions by 40% using AI powered calling. Is this something that might interest your team and is now a good time to talk briefly? Yes, yeah, sure. But can you schedule a meeting for tomorrow at 9 a.m.? Will that work? Yes, I've booked the meeting for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Looking forward to our conversation. Thank you there. Have a great day. Thank you. Okay, so let's now see if it went correctly. So we go to call history and we have our one here. Yeah, perfect. So it connected it with the lead name. The only thing that we now need to fix is I have the feeling that the data that we get from LinkedIn is not actually used inside of our conversation. So I think something is going wrong there. And the way we'll fix this is actually we're going to use the speaking button again and then we'll use the chat option. So it will really dig into this problem. The conversations that we are having, it has no idea who it's talking to. Also the name doesn't really sound right all the time. So I have the feeling that when we are calling someone, we don't actually use the data of that lead to give answers. We should really know the lead name, the business of this lead, and just all the information that we got from the LinkedIn scraper. But this is currently not happening. It doesn't even know the name. So what I want you to do is really investigate where this is going wrong and then please propose a fix. Okay, perfect. So as you can see here, it is really investigating what is happening. So it shows that it was calling me there, which is a bit weird. And as you can see here, the LinkedIn data is null. Let's see, but we should still get Luke Alleman as the lead. We'll just say implement the plan and then test it once again. And hopefully then everything is working correctly. Okay, so it's fixed it. We'll test it out once again. And yeah, hopefully it is now working. Hi, Luke. This is Alec from Build Loop. How are you today? Very good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. 
I wanted to reach out because at BuildLoop, we help sales teams increase their outbound conversions by 40% using AI-powered calling. Is this something that might interest your team? Yeah, so do you actually know what my business does and what it's called, or don't you know that? Yes, Luke. I understand you're the founder of Everyman and Dado.ai, where you're focused on building AI businesses. Given your background in AI, I'm particularly interested to learn how our solution could add value to your current operations. Yeah, wow. Okay, amazing. Can we schedule a call? Absolutely, Luke. I'd be happy to schedule a call. Could you let me know your preferred date and time and I'll set it up? Yeah, so maybe October 20th and then around 9 a.m. Will that work for you? Yes, Luke. I've scheduled the meeting for October 20th at 9 a.m. I'm looking forward to our discussion. If you have any questions or need to make changes, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Perfect. Thank you. You too. Thank you, Luke. Take care. Thanks. Wow. So this is what I'm talking about. This is amazing. We can call people while we have the actual background knowledge that we actually need. And this will make it hyper personalized. We could also add more data sources to it. Now it's only LinkedIn, but the possibilities are really endless with it. I will share the link to the prompt library in the description so you can actually start testing it out yourself. You could add your leads. You could buy leads from Apollo, for example, and just call people for the whole day. Go play around with it. And yeah, it's just really amazing, man. It's really cool. Thank you for being so patient and watching my complete video. If you have learned anything from it, please like and subscribe. It really helps me and it will help you build better AI systems. And I think that is exactly what you want. So I will see you in the next one.